Now let us move on to the next problem which is connected to the differential equation. Kya diya hua hai? Dekhte hain. If y is a function of x satisfies the differential equation h root x then root of 9 plus root x dy is equal to root of 4 plus root of 9 plus root x the reciprocal of it dx and the value at 0 is equal to root 7 then the value at 256 is equal to what? Now, it seems to be a complicated one, but you can clearly see again rearranging the term taking dy on the left hand side and all rest terms on the right hand side here we have 1 upon 8 root x root of 9 plus root x this into 4 plus root of 9 plus root x dx. Now, integrating on both the sides, it is a variable separable form which we have learnt. Now, here we have y. Now, this integration is very easy one. If you substitute this term is equal to t, then the derivative of this term is definitely going to be these two terms. So, definitely the integration here is easier one and the integration is 4 plus root of 9 plus root x, we have value at 0, y of 0 is definitely root 7. So, from here if you substitute x equal to 0, then c will be 0. So, the function itself is 4 plus root 9 plus root x. Now, putting the value that is 256, we have Calculating this will get the value as 3. So, the right answer here is answer D. Right? Take the question number 44, which is related to the area. What is given to us here is if the line x equal to alpha, which is dividing the area area which is bounded by actually y is greater than or equal to x cube and y is less than or equal to x where x is lying between 0 to 1 into two equal parts then alpha is satisfying which of these options. So, let us trace the curve one is y is greater than or equal to x cube and another is y is less than or equal to x. So, tracing here will give you this part and y is equal to x is definitely this part. Now, you can see this is the bounded region between 0 to 1 and here is the line x equal to alpha which is dividing the area into two equal part. This is one part and definitely this is another part. So, it is given 0 to alpha. This is the upper curve. The upper curve is definitely y equal to x. So, it is upper minus lower curve. The lower curve is x cube dx is equal to the next part which is bounded between alpha to 1. So, here again it is x minus x cube dx. Now, from here we will get the equation alpha. Let us see what we are getting. x square by 2 minus x 4 by 4 applying the limits 0 to alpha and from here we have again x square by 2 minus x 4 by 4 alpha to 1. Now, placing the values alpha square by 2 minus alpha 4 by 4 and here we have 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 minus alpha square by 2 minus alpha 4 by 4. Now, solving this equation, we will get the equation as 
टू अल्फा फोर माइनस फोर अल्फा स्क्वायर प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो डेफिनेटली वी आर गेटिंग द सेकेंड ऑप्शन एज द करेक्ट वन बट वी हैव टू सी फॉर द मोर ऑप्शन बिकॉज इट इज हैविंग मोर देन वन ऑप्शन करेक्ट सो लेट एस ट्रीट दिस एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ अल्फा नाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ अल्फा एट जीरो सो एफ ऑफ जीरो फ्रॉम हेयर is definitely equal to 1 which is greater than 0 and again f of half we can see from here it is 2 to 16 so it is 2 by 16 minus 4 by 4 plus 1 which is again 1 by 8 so what is 1 by 8 from here it is again greater than 0 but if you calculate the value at 1 you can clearly see it is 2 minus 4 plus 1 which is minus 1 and it is less than 0 so alpha is the root of this equation which is clearly lying between 1 by 2 and 1 because at 1 by 2 and 1 we are getting the opposite sign dono pe opposite sign mil rahi hai definitely it is a root which is lying between 1 by 2 and 1 so this is again the next correct option so we have two correct options here so answer of this problem is definitely b and d right